You've probably seen videos about resurrection jars, these mysterious sealed ecosystems people are making from pond or creek water. After 30 days, they open the jar to reveal what's alive inside, and sometimes even pour it into their aquariums. And that's the part that made me pause. As someone who's been in this hobby a long time, I can absolutely see the appeal, but I also see the potential risks. So I decided to take a different route, one that still honors the magic of nature, but more safely. A resurrection jar is essentially a sealed ecosphere, organic matter, water, mud, and plant life all enclosed in a jar. Over days and weeks, dormant life resurrects, microfauna bloom, algae grows, and sometimes even tiny critters appear. It's nature in a bottle, and it can be beautiful, but it's not without potential dangers. Where this trend gets risky is when people pour the contents of these jars into their main aquariums. Depending on your water source, those jars could possibly contain parasites, bacteria, harmful protozoa, or toxins, all invisible to the naked eye. You might be introducing something that could crash your cycle or harm your fish. What thrives in a sealed, chaotic microenvironment isn't always compatible with your carefully maintained tank. Clear water doesn't always mean safe water. But all this reminded me how magical sealed ecosystems can be. I used to build ecospheres years ago. I wanted to start again, not to add these to my aquariums, but as a way to observe nature safely and let it do its thing. I'm lucky enough to live near several beautiful natural spots, creeks, ponds, and streams. And they're full of life if you look close enough so I had already rinsed out my jar and I'm going to layer in some rocks and mud and add, unfortunately, the only one plant I found and pour in my collected water. I'm not adding fish. I'm not sterilizing it. I'm simply observing. This is a closed system to watch over time and I'm really excited to see what emerges. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to collect as many things as I would hoped for but next time I'll come a little bit more prepared with more gear so that I can go further down the creek to see what I can collect down there. There's so much value in slowing down and just watching nature unfold in these jars. These little worlds remind me how interconnected everything is from a speck of algae to a dragonfly larva. And if this helps more people pause and appreciate that, I'm all for it. So while I won't be adding my resurrection jar or future ones to a tank, I will be sharing their journeys here.